Hey everybody and welcome back. This is Beauty Talk with Kill Girl. Today we have this bright green look that is St. Patrick's Day inspired to keep you from getting pinched. If you want to see how to get this look, then keep on watching. We're going to jump right in starting off with our primer. This is the MAC Paint Pot in the color Painterly. And I'm just working that from lash line to brow bone. Next, going in with the Urban Decay Eye Pencil in the color Freak. This is a very kind of minty green shimmery color and just working that on the mobile lid closest to the lash line. This does not have to be perfect. Just kind of getting a good coating down. And now going in and blending that with my finger. You can use a brush if you like. I just chose to use my finger this time around. And now going in with our first shadow. This is Acid Berry by Sugar Pill. This is a very bright neon green color using a dense brush and packing that on the mobile lid color where we put that Urban Decay eye pencil. And just making sure we have good opaque coverage and slightly blending a little crease. Now going in with the color Typhoon from Makeup Geek. This is one of their foiled shadows and I'm just working that into the outer V, outer crease area and with what little is left on the brush just dragging it toward the inner corner. Next going in with the color Cocoa Bear also from Makeup Geek. It's just a nice warm brown color. Using that as a blender transition so it's not so harsh and gives everything a little more depth and interest just to warm up the look a little. Now going in with the color Voltage also from Makeup Geek. Makeup Geek. I'm going to use that on a pencil brush and just putting that on the inner tear duct to brighten it up a little. Now using Corrupt from Makeup Geek again just in the very very outer corner to deepen up that outer V. And if there's any left just very lightly swipe it toward the inner tear duct area. Now using the color Vanilla Bean from Makeup Geek this is kind of going to be the brow bone highlight blender shade to blend out that cocoa bear and just kind of add a little highlight to that brow bone. Now I have my foundation done and I'm finishing up the eyes using the NYC liquid eyeliner. You can get this at about any Walmart or drugstore. Sorry I'm a little out of frame here. I've got to work on keeping my eye in the shot when I'm doing eyeliner. But just making a nice little flick and filling it in, evening up the line and sometimes you just have to quit or else you end up with a really black eye. This time I didn't do too bad. Just making sure everything's nice and even and filled in. And now going in with a NYX Gold Glitter Eyeliner, just lightly putting that on the inner corner and just dragging it in a little bit. Now for a actual tight line, water line, I'm using the Urban Decay pencil in the color Junkie. And I'm just going to run that inside the lower water line and put on a layer of mascara. Any mascara will work, whatever your favorite mascara is. This is just one from Wet n Wild. Coat them bottom and top lashes. For bronzer, I'm using the one called Soft Sand from MAC. I believe this was a special edition, but whatever bronzer you have will work. Taking that on a large fluffy brush, doing it on the cheeks, not really contouring, just warming up the face a little. Going around the forehead, a little more on the cheek area, and don't forget underneath the chin. This will add just an ever so slight shadow. And to actually contour a little bit, I'm using the NYX blush in the color taupe and just strictly keeping that to where I want to contour. I promise a full video on contouring is coming soon. I can't seem to film one that I'm happy with yet, but I'm still working on it. Now moving on to highlight, I'm using the Becca Press Powder in the color Champagne Pop and just very lightly brushing that on the top of my cheekbones. And then using my finger to put just a little bit on the bridge of my nose, doing the cupid's bow. And now moving on to blush, this is Peaches 
from MAC. It's a nice orangey warm blush that will go nicely with these eye colors. I'm just lightly putting that on the tips or the apples of my cheeks and using a powder brush just to kind of blend everything together. For setting spray, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Setting Spray. And there we go. Now for lashes, I'm using the Salon Perfect 610s. While you wait on the glue to dry, you can bend the lash. This will help it form to your eye a little better. And very short clip putting the eyelashes on because I was out of frame for most of it. Now moving on to lipstick. This is the Kat Von D lipstick in the color Noble. I'm just going to do a light coating of that on to keep the lips fairly neutral and light because the eyes are so dramatic. And put a little shine on it using the Too Faced Lip Gloss and Mocha Freeze. And once you get this lip gloss on and you're nice and shiny, the look is done. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Until next time, bye!